Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a lap book. So as many of my regular watchers are aware, my family decided to homeschool our son last year. And if you're interested in the grade three curriculum that we decided on, I can post a link to that over here. And I will be filming a video about our grade four curriculum for next year for those who are interested. But along our homeschooling journey, we discovered something called lap books. And we found one for like musical theory and fell in love with the layout. And I had this idea, I'd been wanting to create a herbal kids curriculum for a long time. And, and I wanted to incorporate a lap book component to it. So just last week, I actually launched Herbs for Kids, which is a herbal based comprehensive kids curriculum that is designed for kids of all ages. And one of the components that's in it is a lap book. But if you've never made one before, or you're not familiar with them, it can seem a little daunting or confusing how to navigate that. So I'm going to show you today is how to make a lap book from basic supplies you probably have from around your house and therefore the kind of information you can include. And I want to point out that lap books are a great way to organize visuals, organize information. And so even if you don't homeschool, this could be a really excellent tool for kids who go to public school, private school or whatever, if they want to, you know, say they have projects at school and they want to submit it in a unique way that would kind of knock the teacher's socks off, uh, you would really like lap books as well. So to make your very own lap book, you are going to need the following supplies. You're going to need some file folders of some kind. You can go plain like I have, or you can get the funky colored ones. It really doesn't matter. At least one, and I'm going to show you a few variations. I'm going to be using three today and in the next clip, I'll show you why. You're going to need glue, scissors. It's handy to have some tape of some kind. Unfortunately, all I have is Packers tape, but just regular tape will be just fine. And optional, if you want to add a punch of color, you can have some construction paper if you don't have colored file folders. Okay, so for the simplest version of a lap book, you will need one file folder and you want to open up your file folder. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the first flap and you're going to fold it into the center here just like that. And then you're going to take your second flap and fold it so they cross over like this. And this is a very basic structure for a lap book where you would open it up and then you would have information glued on the inside. And I'll give you um, an example in the next segment of what kinds of items are often in lap books when you find these curriculums online. But this would be a very basic one folder lap book. But because I know the curriculum that I'm working with is my curriculum and it has uh, quite a few more components in it, I want a larger version. So I'm going to set this one aside and I'm going to repeat exactly what I did with a second file folder. And I'll show you how it works right after. So I'm going to fold this over roughly in the center. You don't have to be too, too perfect. <laughs> and then once again, folding over. Now, in order to make a slightly larger lap book, what you will now do is combine these two. And that's where some of our glue comes in, where you're actually going to glue these two flaps together. So I'll do that right now. And if you've got double-sided tape, that makes a great option as well. I just have glue stick glue because I homeschool and we go through a lot of glue here. And then you'll just attach the two together just like that and I usually like to fold it over and kind of press it down really well so now we have a larger lap book system that folds together quite nicely there we are so this would be a two folder lap book system where you could open up the first flap. You'll have information on all of these as well as the center flaps. 
So this is the basic construction for a lap book. Now, if you know you're going to have a really robust lap book, you can actually create flip folders for the center. And so I'll cut out and glue and tape on one of those for you now so you can have an idea of what that looks like. So say you have a fairly robust curriculum or a pretty large project that you want, that your child wants to submit, you can create additional flaps for your lap book structure and you would just use another file folder like this. So what I'm going to do, and if you've got cardstock, so if you don't want to cut up another folder like this, if you have cardstock, that would work as well. So I'm basically just going to cut these in half. Perfect. And they're a little bit too wide, so I like to take and trim up along the side here as well. And if you like really straight lines, I recommend grabbing a ruler before you do this. So then what you're going to do is on your main lap book, you're going to create a flap. And what I like to do is I tape it on so then you can just flip it up. So now you've got two pages worth of information that would be inside of your lap book. And this is where you can get a little bit creative. If you want a punch of color, you would cut out some construction paper and glue it on top just to give it a little bit more color. You can do this in the back here as well if you've got plain file folders like we do. And for my curriculum, um, the Herbs for Kids curriculum, a lot of kids really like to be able to design their own covers as well. And you can do that. You can have your kids draw the cover or if this is a project or a presentation that they're submitting to their teacher. But I'm just going to glue this right on the front because it actually looks quite nice. So this would be the front of your lap book and then opening up to all of the internal structure on the inside. So I've got the completed structure of our lap book. So like I said, I went with kind of a more robust one with two different file folders. What's really neat about, and you can see I've added in some construction paper for a pop of color. What's really neat about these flaps is as your lap book grows, you can always add additional ones. I just taped it on on the back. So what would happen here is you would have more information on this side. And if you like oh darn, <laughs> I really need a bigger lap book, you can just add in flaps as you go. Oftentimes on these side portions, you're gonna see things like flashcards. This would also be a great place to write terminology and definitions. And I was just chatting with my husband who is a public school teacher and he said that he would be really impressed if one of his kids handed in material in a lap book form like this. So what kinds of things go in lap books? I'll give you an example now. This is from lesson one of Herbs for Kids curriculum. So this is a little what, what are called fan books or flat books. And underneath, you know, the front says, what is a herb? You've got three different pictures here. And then as the kids fold them back, you have the definitions underneath of what a herbaceous plant is, a woody plant and a culinary herb. And then it folds up quite nicely within the lap book. And I'll show you a few other examples while my son glues in this first part in the lap book. Sound good? So I want to talk a little bit about the Herbs for Kids curriculum um, because I'm really excited about it. It is, as I mentioned, a comprehensive and flexible program that's great for kids of all ages. I'd say probably starting around grade one, depending on your child's level. So what I have here are nine different lessons that cover things from what is a plant to plant identification to lots of hands-on activities. So each one of my lessons comes with the, you know, the actual lesson component. It comes with handouts to reinforce what you've learned and the handouts are, can be done verbally. They can, the kids can write out the answers. And then of course there is the actual lap book component, which you would then add into your lap book. So other lap book ideas, see, for example, on second, my second lesson, parts of a plant, you may have a lap book component that looks kind of like this where the kids would fold over all the little flaps of the flower. And this one discusses parts of a plant. Other areas that I've covered in my curriculum are things like, uh, I've got hands-on activities. Like, what's this one? Oh, this one's one of my favorites. This is the activities for the bitters unit where you actually have a bitters taste test. So kids can learn about bitters by actually tasting them. I'm done. Awesome, thank you. And here's another example of components that would go into a lap book. Here's the actual flap that would then hold the flashcards that have the definitions for things like carminatives, nervines, and bitters. 
So I hope this um, has helped you guys on your homeschooling or maybe project building journey. Lap books have been really, really fun for us. If you're interested in the Herbs for Kids curriculum, I'm gonna post links below. I've got it on my website, Etsy, and on Teachers Pay Teachers. It is a PDF document that also includes 40 flashcards that cover lots of different plants. And then on the back, it has all of the pertinent information that would be relevant for kiddos. What's the part that you're most excited to learn about? I am excited about pretty much everything. Everything? Is there anything that you're the most excited about? What about the scavenger hunts? I've got two different scavenger hunts in my herb curriculum as well. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Awesome. So uh, on behalf of my son and I, I would like to thank you so very much for joining us. And this is Corinne from Spirea Herbs wishing you health and wellness.